Good morning, guys. It is Wednesday, December 13th, which is my Friday. Yay. So here's what I'm taking with me to work today. It is essentially exactly the same thing I have taken for the last two days to work. So first of all, my coffee and tea. Coffee is uh, the McDonald's K-Cup today for zero smart points with one tablespoon of fat-free half and half for zero smart points. Tea is my one teaspoon of teamy skinny tea, which I definitely need right now. Need some serious de-bloating, so one teaspoon of teamy skinny for zero smart points. And then I also have some lemon juice in there from the lemons off our tree. So lemon juice and teamy skinny for zero smart points. And then over here I'm having another poke bowl for lunch. So um, the same thing, I'm using rice cauliflower. I have two thirds of a package of this Trader Joe's organic rice cauliflower for zero smart points. I put some uh, low sodium soy sauce on that for zero smart points. And then I also put some sriracha on that for zero smart points. And then I will take the sriracha and the soy sauce with me to work as well to put on the top of my poke bowl. So that's the rice, the cauliflower rice for my poke bowl. And the tuna is right here. Again, I forgot to thaw it, but that's okay because it thawed out pretty well um, throughout the day at work yesterday. And then I will just dice it up and add that to the bowl. So this is five ounces of raw tuna for zero smart points. I have a half cup of shelled edamame. It is the Trader Joe's shelled edamame for zero smart points. That stuff is so good, it tastes so buttery. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So zero smart points for the edamame. A half cup of sliced Persian cucumbers for zero smart points. I have a cup of diced fresh pineapple for zero smart points. And then here is the little bit of seaweed paper that I have left. It's about a third of a sheet of nori seaweed paper for zero smart points. So I will put all of this together at work again and then add more soy sauce and sriracha and all of that is zero smart points. It's really, really filling too. And then my snack today is just an apple, which I don't even know if I'll have this because I have an event like um, directly after work, before work even like at 4.30, 5 o'clock. So that's all I have for my snack. So this is everything that I'm having until dinner tonight, which is zero smart points. Hey everyone, good morning. It is Wednesday, December 13th, which is my Friday. Here's my outfit of the day. I was actually just super cold this morning, so I had to find something that I could wear a nice warm scarf with. So there's that. I also tried so hard to wake up early this morning at 5.30 and run, and I just can't do it. I just can't do it. I can't get out of bed at that time. I don't know what it is. So now I have to deal with having to find time to run later today, and I have such a busy day planned. At lunch, I am supposed to go walking with my friend because we haven't walked for ages, and part of that is my fault. And um, then, at 4.30, we're leaving the office to go to a going away party for a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful attorney who's been with us forever and is leaving. So that is drinks. It's going away drinks. Um, so then I will be going home and then I have to deal with running. So depending on how I feel, I may just do one mile. I may do four. Um, I kind of wanted to do four today, but I think I should be okay with one because I'm going to try and do four miles on Saturday, so I should still at least get in my five days of higher runs and then my two days with just the one mile. So I should still be okay just doing one mile today. And then also I was going to do 10 miles on Saturday, so I should be fine. I should be fine to just one run, one mile. I can't talk today. Um, so that's my day today. Every day is a challenge. Every day has a challenge. And I'm just at the point where I'm just trying to um, treat every day independently and make every day the best 
that I can, regardless of where I was at yesterday, what happened last week, what's going to happen tomorrow. Every day needs to be the best that it can. So hopefully you guys were able to go to your Weight Watchers meetings this week because the weekly that we got last night is really, really helpful. There's a little exercise in there which details how to plan your day around a holiday party and it's excellent. I know you guys have a lot of holiday parties coming up. Please read this weekly because it helps so much. It shows actually an average day for someone who um, planned breakfast, lunch, and they're eating real food, but it's minimal points. So real, healthy, satisfying food, minimal points. And then they go to their holiday celebration and enjoy that food. And I think the total for the day is like, 37 or something like that. So it's a really, really useful weekly this week. So um, I guess that's all for me. Um, I will chat with you guys in another little while. You know, one really good thing to remember in the midst of a minor weight gain, um, a 3.2 pound weight gain, um, is that my clothes still fit. All my clothes still fit. I'm feeling slightly bloated, but I mean really, pretty normal so um, I do one thing I regret is that my stomach was starting to feel pretty flat and that's <laughs> not the case anymore but my clothes still fit so remember that Julie and press on because all is not lost and also I am so excited tonight because finally 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 I get to uh -huh. paint my nails I have been holding off on doing my nails because um, I wanted to do more productive things at night, like namely wrap gifts. I did get one package, huge package of gifts out to my son that has the larger family. So that one's done. Now I have to send a package to my other son and then a package to my grandson. So I still have gifts to wrap, but I decided since tonight, um, since I'm going on the cruise tomorrow, tonight I will allow myself to do my nails. So I am super excited because I didn't realize how much I love, love, love doing my nails. And I feel so much cuter when they're actually done. So I will show you guys that tonight. I'm using that OPI deep purple that I got on clearance for 450. Hey guys, it's about 7.30. I just left the farewell party and that was awesome. I'm so happy for my attorney friend who moved from Disney to Netflix and he loves it there. So that is awesome. I also saw a lot of people that I haven't seen in a while. So it was fun to get to hang out with them. I actually had one drink more than I had planned. I started with a mojito and I asked for a skinny mojito which was basically club soda lime mint and the rum and it was terrible it was not like the drinks that i usually have when i ask for a skinny mojito so i drank that up and then i switched to the happy hour red wine which was chianti and it was much much better so i had three glasses of the chianti um and now i am having my apple <laughs> from my earlier snack. Um, I had, I literally had my poke bowl at four o'clock, like right before we left to go to this farewell party. So that helped as far as like not being snacky and wanting food because we were obviously at, we were at an Italian restaurant and it smelled amazing. So I was able to not really want any food, um, but I did have my share of drinks. So now it's time to go home and I have to deal with running a mile. And I guarantee you, I'm really only going to run one mile and that's probably going to suck. Um, but I'll do my mile and then I'm going to make dinner and probably have dinner around 9, 9.30 like I usually do. So I'll touch base with you guys in a little while. Okay guys, it is 8.30 and I know you probably can't see me. It's very dark out here. It's 8.30 but I am headed for my run right now. It's a little crazy that yes, 
I can go for a run after I have had three glasses of wine and one very weak and very not very tasty mojito. But you guys know if you've been watching me for a while, I have very high tolerance, unfortunately. So I feel fine. I feel relaxed, but I feel fine. So I'm about to do my one mile. I really, I would have liked to do four miles today, but I'm totally okay with one mile at this point because obviously I just want to go home or it's warm and have dinner. It's pretty cold out here. Um, so I'm going to do one mile. Another sad thing is that I am on my very last Fat Dag podcast. Oh my gosh. This is the podcast from literally, I think it's like a day ago. Um, so I'm like totally caught up. I don't know what I'm going to do with myself after this. Um, I will most definitely go back and listen to podcasts again as I see fit. I may listen to an audiobook now and then. Um, I was listening to an older audiobook recently called The Distant Hours by Kate. I can't remember her last name. Um, but I started that, so I'm a really anal about uh, finishing a book that I started. So I will probably go back and finish that audiobook. And now I've got at least like four credits and two books already to listen to. So I've got plenty of stuff to listen to, but I'm just super sad that I have no more fat tag to listen to. Huh. But I always know that I can go back to his podcast and listen when I need the motivation. Um, so I really actually, one of them that I want to go back and listen to, and I remember this because it's my birth year, is number 72, podcast number 72 is all about complacency. And I know that I have been super complacent, especially recently, um, giving in to things that I shouldn't and maybe just not caring so much. Um, so I really want to listen to that one again. So I'll probably do that actually before I dive into my audiobooks again. Anyway, so I'm literally doing this mile because I am in and I started and I'm hosting the holiday streak, which is where we run a full mile every single day from Thanksgiving until New Year's Day. We are just over the 20 day mark, so we're getting there. We're totally getting there, but um, running a mile every day has actually been more challenging than I thought. Not because, um, I don't know if it's more challenging mentally. No, it's actually more challenging physically because my body at times has been like, just hello, can we just take a break here? Um, so, and that's like totally on me because those are the days when I need to just do one mile. But I'm such a black and white, all or nothing person that I feel like when I get out to run, if I'm gonna do a mile, I might as well do two, but you know what, if I have time, I could do three. But if I'm gonna do three, then what's one more? I could do four. So that's totally on me. I need to know when to stop and when to give my body a break. And I think that one mile a day is nothing. It's like a, a one mile run for me on one day is like a rest day. So um, there's nothing wrong with doing that and I just need to not learn to not push myself every moment in everything that I do. So anyway, I'm about to run a mile and then I'm gonna go back and make dinner. And like I said, I'm super excited to do my nails tonight. So that's literally all I have planned. I am going to enjoy this mile, enjoy listening to my very last, very most current Fat Dag podcast. Fat Dag, if you are seriously watching my videos, you have got to know how much I adore you. And you literally have pulled me through the last two months by the skin of my teeth literally giving me motivation every moment of every day. I have played you nonstop in my ear for weeks. <laughs> so I totally appreciate that. And I know people tell you that all the time, but man, I could not, I wouldn't be where I am without you. So anyway, fat tag right now, one mile. This should take me literally less than 10 minutes. So <laughs> It's nothing. I need to stop complaining. Was I complaining? No, I'm just gonna do it and then I'm gonna go home and I am making a acorn uh, No, no a butternut squash and pumpkin squash 
and chicken breast and feta cheese and poached egg concoction. Yes, all zero points, all delicious. And of course I will supplement that with probably a glass or two of my low points sangria. So I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Okay, you guys, I just finished my mile and I feel great. Number one, because I feel like I had more energy than I usually do when I run outside. I know my speed is not tremendously faster. My outside running speed is ridiculously slow, but I know it's the difference between running outside on your own legs and running on a treadmill, but I just did that run at nine minutes and 50 seconds for one mile. So I felt like I had a lot of great energy and I actually pushed it like up the hill and stuff. So I feel great about that. I wanted to share with you guys two things. Number one, I was just listening to my very last episode of Fat Dag. I have minutes left, just minutes. But I wanted to share with you something that I heard. So first of all, I know that we all have a lot of time bound goals. I do. I had a time bound goal recently. I wanted to hit 130 pounds by December 25th. I'm not going to make that and I'm totally okay with that because I'm accepting the choices that I made and I have time. I have time and I know what to do so it's not killing me. Um, but a lot of us have time bound goals. Also on the other hand, conversely, I really really hate when people refer to Weight Watchers as a diet. I literally cringe inside because it's so not a diet to me. It's so far from a diet. Weight Watchers to me is absolutely a lifestyle. I've been doing this lifestyle for two and a half years. I've reached my health goals and I'm looking to push on to better and better and better myself with Weight Watchers, with my exercise. I have a lot of goals for myself. This is absolutely a lifestyle for me. I love eating this way. I I don't wanna say I love tracking, but I just do it. I was telling Gina today, um, I can't imagine not tracking. I just track, it's what I do. It's so weird for me to not track that it feels wrong. So this is totally a lifestyle for me. So when you think about the fact that we all have these time-bound goals, whether or not we should, I mean, I, th I don't think it's a bad thing to have a time-bound goal because if I just say to myself, I wanna lose five pounds sometime, maybe it'll happen in five years, <laughs> maybe it'll happen in 10 years. I don't think a time-bound goal is a bad thing. But on the other hand, this is a lifestyle for me. So what I just heard someone say on Fat Dag's podcast is, a lifestyle is forever, you guys, forever. So if I hit my goal by Christmas, awesome. If I don't hit my goal by Christmas, it's okay because this is my lifestyle and a lifestyle is forever. Have you guys made positive changes through this Weight Watchers lifestyle? Do you feel better? Is your health better? Are your Is your blood sugar better? Your cholesterol? Your weight? Are all your numbers better? Is this a lifestyle to you? Or are you just playing around with a diet, waiting to get to a certain number and then you're going to go back to your old habits? If this is a lifestyle for you, it's okay. There's no time frame because a lifestyle is forever. That is so refreshing to me because I realize, yes, I'm already at lifetime. I'm already like this close to my goal, but I want more, but I don't have to have it tomorrow. I don't have to have it by Christmas. I don't have to have it by January 1st because a lifestyle is forever. And this is my lifestyle. So if I hit my goal in January, that's awesome. If it takes me until February, takes me until February. This is my lifestyle and a lifestyle is forever. I love that. I think that's going to be, I told Kat that maybe with all of the holiday challenges she has this weekend, maybe she could write a little mantra on a postcard, um, decorate it up, make it cute, put it in her purse and look at it throughout these holiday parties and remind herself what she's looking for, what she's reaching toward, what are her goals. I think that might be my mantra 
to look at or think about. I don't know if I have time to make a postcard before I go on the cruise, but this could be my mantra or my thing for this weekend. A lifestyle is forever. A lifestyle is not the three days that I'm gonna be on a cruise. A lifestyle is not tonight if I have more adult beverages. A lifestyle is not Saturday if I do or don't run 10 miles. A lifestyle is forever. And I'm working on forever right now, you know? You know what I mean? My health matters forever in a lifestyle is forever. I love that. I love it. Um, one other thing I just wanted to say is that I know it's dark out, but there are street lamps which are producing shadows. And don't you guys think it's so cool when you see your shadow? And yes, I know it's a shadow thing. Shadows are always longer and leaner. But I saw my shadow tonight and I'm like, dang, that's a skinny shadow. <laughs> So I like that and it made me happy and now I'm gonna go inside and make dinner and I'll show you guys what dinner is momentarily. Okay guys, it's 940 and here is my dinner for tonight. So you really can't even tell at all what this is, but what I have on the bottom is, um, you can see a little bit over here. So I have some sauteed butternut squash and sauteed pumpkin. So two different squashes sauteed in a pan with cooking spray and some Trader Joe's everything but the bagel sesame seasoning. So the bottom is probably one and a half cups worth, maybe two cups of butternut squash and pumpkin for zero smart points. On top of that, I have two, they're right there, I promise. I have two poached eggs for zero smart points. And then on top of that, I have a little dressing that I made from this non-fat yogurt for zero smart points. It's about two tablespoons of non-fat yogurt mixed with Italian seasoning. So Italian seasoning and yogurt, zero smart points. Then I put about three-fourths of an ounce of Trader Joe's fat-free feta cheese for zero smart points. And then I just sprinkled some random like vegetables on the top. So that is everything for dinner. It's a giant plate and it's all zero smart points. And then I have one little glass of my sangria here. My sangria is eight ounces for five smart points. So this is my dinner tonight and that's it for me.